this is Terry from Terry Johnson Creates. And over the last few days, I have sold tons, I mean literally hundreds, of the upgrade codes for the Designer Edition Plus software. Everyone is so excited that you can cut your embroidery applique files in your Silhouette Studio. However, so many of you have written to me and asked, could you please show us how to use it? So that's what this little video is all about. The first thing you want to do is be sure that you are upgraded to excuse me, I'm getting my mail here, to Silhouette Studio Designer Edition Plus. Now mine says Business Edition because I've purchased that. So unless you've purchased Business Edition, it should say right up here, Designer Edition Plus. Now I have a previous blog on how you can download the newest update and install that code, and but you want to be sure that you are at the newest updated version of 3.6.39. It has some other features, but the one we're talking about today is the embroidery design software part. So, once you're sure that you're up and running, you're simply going to open an embroidery design, and I'm going to click on this little airplane, and this is in PES format. It opens multiple formats, um, and I can't list them all right now, but it is on the Silhouette site, which ones it um, opens. Sorry about that. I'm getting my email notifications. I should have turned that off. But at any rate, this is a single piece applique design. Now I know that sometimes you have designs that are multiple pieces and we'll do another tutorial on that. But for now, this is just a single piece. So there's two ways that you can do it. I'm going to show you one way, which is um, this design comes in ungrouped. All the pieces are separate. So all you have to do is pull these away. And actually, I'm just going to select it, hold down my shift key and hit delete so that I get rid of all of those. Now, get rid of this here. Now there should be two of these yellows, and I know that's really faint and you probably can't see it, but this is the embroidery placement stitch for the fabric, and then this is the tack down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that tack down, and I'm actually gonna color this in so that you can see it, because I don't think right now that you could even see it. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Hang on a second, let's go here to the line options. Okay, there we go. Now you can see it. I changed the line color to red so that you could see it. So this would be the applique that we would want to place and cut in our embroidery design. Now when I open up my um, PDF file for the embroidery design, you'll see that that looks exactly like what uh, we have on our screen here in Silhouette Studio. So all I would do at this point would be send a silhouette, and I'm not connected, so don't worry about that and simply come down here and select fabric thin like cotton prints. Now I have other tutorials on my blog that show you how to prepare your fabric for cutting and you can check those out but right now I'm just showing you how to use the software. And you'd be all ready to send a silhouette and cut. Now I'm going to show you another way to do it. This is one way and some people find that really easy. Um, for me personally I prefer this one I'm going to show you, but if you like the other one better, you've got both options. Now with this design, what I'm going to do is go here to Cut Settings. And under Cut Mode, you want to click on Advanced. And don't get excited because it says Advanced. It just gives you the option to cut by layer or line color. Okay, So I'm going to go back here to Layer. And when you do this, you'll notice that there are nine colors. And if I open my PDF file for my embroidery design, you're going to see that, in fact, there are nine colors for this design. And the first one is what we would want to cut. That's our applique position. And number two is the um, tack down. So in order to cut only that one applique position, all I'm going to do is deselect all of the other colors. So now when I go to Silhouette Studio, the only thing that's going to cut is color number one or that yellow line right there. That's it. That's all that's going to cut. So again, I would send a silhouette, come down here to my cut settings. Hang on just a second. That is not copy paper. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to change that to, let's see, right here I'm going to come down. We're going to change that to fabric thin like cotton prints. Now you're going to come up here and you're going to see now it says fabric. I don't know why the default is copy paper, 
and I have been in conversations with the software developers and brought that to their attention. So hopefully in the next update, that'll be changed. But then you'd be all set to go. You're good to go and ready to cut, and it will fit perfectly in your embroidery design. So I'm going to put some links down in the comments below for some of these other tutorials and for the So Inspired by Bonnie um, airplane designs and also how you can purchase the upgrade. The, you're going to love it. No sizing, no anything, and it fits perfectly into your placement stitch. Thanks.